Hello, my name is David Finney. I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, today I wanted to discuss the Big Fix Bez admin tool. Um, if there are any questions from what you see in this content here today, uh, you'll see uh, my email address just below my name or that uh, QR code there will actually prompt you for an email as well. Uh, but either case, if there are questions, feel free to reach out. Okay, so starting from the top, this is going to be covering just the Windows version of this only today. Uh, there is a Linux version of this that will likely be discussed on another video or another support article. Either case, uh, so the Bez admin tool is going to be actually located underneath your Bez server installation folder. Uh, so basically you just got to track down where you did the original installation for BigFix. You'll find that Bez server folder and then you'll execute the Bez admin tool. Bez admin tool is used for updating license allocations and site availability. So if there's uh, additional licenses that are purchased or if there's additional sites that are purchased for your Big Fix environment uh, or just changes to the environment in any, any sense of that, this is where you're going to update that. Uh, this is also going to give you database maintenance and cleanup tasks, uh, any adjustments to system options, security options, encryption. It, it does quite a bit for you. Other than that, though, just make sure you run this with the appropriate permissions uh, from the account that you're actually running it from, that it has appropriate permissions back to the database just so that it can run without any hiccups. Okay, I thought it best just to jump into this from the actual Big Fix console. Uh, let me show you what I am actually looking for here. Um, so the first thing I wanted to kind of show you is underneath the Big Fix management, back over to license overview. So I have a change to my license right now that I need to run through, and this is exactly how I'm going to run it, is through the Bez admin tool, as it mentions right here. So I'm going to go dig up the directory where I have that installed, which is under x86 for me, uh, Big Fix Enterprise, and Bez server. And you'll actually see at the bottom of the list here, actually, Bez admin is right here. Uh, so I'm just going to actually let that run as administrator. So the first thing it's going to ask us for is where the license location is. So this is something that would have been installed uh, the very first time or you know made available during the first installation. Uh, this is a very important file. The license PVK is not something that can be uh, restored by any efforts of uh, HCL or even uh, prior to that IBM. So this is an important license. It's not something that uh, is kept over at uh, the HCL side of things, but also in a mention to that too, is there's a password that's set up to this that is not one that could be reset. So this is a very important file and a very important password. So uh, I know that was probably mentioned during a couple of our initial setup videos, but just wanted to take the moment to mention that now. So this looks right for mine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to run it. All right. So if you actually saw that importing new license, that was literally all you have to do to fix this problem back over on the console side. So that's going to allow it to go ahead and actually import that new license. Uh, as you can see, it already finished those steps uh, for updating that. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that it will actually take away this, uh, this error that you saw over here for the update needed. Uh, but I'm just gonna breeze through a couple of items here. Uh, this is some of the masthead management tabs that I was kind of talking about just a little bit at the beginning where you can actually edit, you can export, you can activate new masthead. Uh, there's a lot of different options that you can leverage here. Um, system options, kind of like we were talking about there. So your minimum refresh intervals, uh, basically, you know, even everything down to client UI icons, you can change and customize those. This is um, a little bit more um, to actually custom settings around the way that Big Fix is going to behave. Uh, one of my favorite things that you're able to set here is uh, what they call four eyes, which means that before you send out of an, a an action, it's actually going to ask you twice. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's, there's a million different options that you could probably set through here uh, to go ahead and kind of uh, change the way that it's going to be uh, set up. But also above that, you know, some of the security options in there as well, such as, you know, passwords here. Uh, replication. Uh, this is... Typically not something that's set up by default, um, but this is um, an area that you can actually use to go ahead and set up additional options in terms of replication. Encryption, just as it sounds. Um, I was actually messing with this earlier, so mine's in a pending status, but you can enable encryption and then make it so that you can actually kind of encrypt the uh, actual client communications, giving you an additional security layer there. 
Uh, the security tab as well, this actually gives you a no another uh, form of security, which is enhanced security, uh, where you can actually enable SHA-256, uh, a little bit higher end security with TLS 1.2. So there's a couple different things you can you know, leverage in this area to, again, further uh, tighten up the security on Big Fix. Last, this uh, cleanup tab, this is a very important area to maintain um, the Big Fix database, really. So um, there's a lot of really neat things that you can do here. You can actually schedule these as well, and this will actually drop into your uh, scheduled tasks on the server. Uh, but you're able to do quite a bit with this, and you can actually kind of see some of the different items you can do here. So getting rid of old computers, duplicates, um, could do quite a bit. And then you can uh, see that you can actually really frame up exactly the when uh, that all this is going to take place. And I'll show you this one as well, just so you can take a look at this. But this is uh, going to be a little bit more of the cleanup side. So this is even going to get rid of some of the old um, relay.dat files, old certs, old actions, old sub actions, old mailbox items. Uh, this is usually pretty impactful as to cleaning up the database. So this is, again, another really good utility that you can set up. Um, and then, you know, property ID mapper, just to uh, make things a little bit more efficient. So that was basically the Big Fix Bez admin tool in a nutshell. Now, granted, uh, there is quite a bit that you can go, um, you know, down each one of these individual tabs. So uh, make sure to, you know, consult the HCL uh, support articles to make sure that you're getting the settings that you desire um, and that it is not going to do anything that is unexpected. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this. I didn't really change anything else. Uh, but I did want to show you, it's going to ask me for re-authentication here. And I'm re-authenticated. I'm going to refresh this. And I would think, there it goes. Cool. Uh, so the site certificate update is gone. So that was kind of the goal initially, just to get those in sync. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, there is a lot more that you can do with that Bez admin tool. So make sure you check out the support articles on that. It could be quite helpful. Okay, thank you for joining me today and talking about the Big Fix Biz Admin Tool. Um, as always, if there are any questions from what we discussed, um, email is right there on the thank you slide. So if there's anything else I could follow up or help out with, uh, don't hesitate to drop me a line. Thank you again.